In a world filled with steel cruise liners and large commercial fishing vessels, we rarely tend to think about the precision and knowledge needed to handcraft a boat. However, in Matthews and Middlesex County, Virginia, boats are still being made by the same traditional methods utilized by boat builders for generations. A few older residents of the county are part of the distinct boat building industry of the Middle Peninsula. Innovation and sustainability are continually transforming the boat industry and with changes in materials and techniques, many of the traditional methods of boat building are becoming obsolete. However, a harmony exists between tradition and innovation in Matthews and Middlesex counties. And the spirit of traditional boat building lives on, even as boat building is being transformed by modern day innovations. Boat builder Edward Diggs is a lifelong resident of Matthews County, and he has dedicated his career to building traditional dead rise boats. Even though traditional boat building in Matthews County is drastically different than it used to be in the earliest history of the county, Dead Rise boat builders like Edward Diggs are still tied to the traditionalist boat building techniques passed down from generation to generation. Mr. Diggs remembers how he learned to build a Dead Rise boat from his father and his motivation for joining him in the boat building industry. When did you know that you wanted to follow him into the trade? <laughs> well, when I graduated, because he wanted to go away to school and learn a, maybe an electrician's trade or something, and I said, no, I don't want to, I want to stay and work with you. So that's what I did. Why did you want to do that? Because I was born to do it. While Mr. Diggs sticks to the traditional methods of boat building, he emphasizes that change is necessary to create boats that properly fit needs of watermen in the Chesapeake Bay area. Boats, like anything else, uh, change. People get new ideas, like I want my stern different or uh, something different on a boat. And, uh, and what to use them for kind of changes too. And uh, so. If you change the way you build them according to what works good for what they don't use it for. Um, can you describe uh, this boat that you that's behind you a little bit? Yeah, well this uh, this is a this is what you call the chest big dead rod. And the dead rod as you see how she comes up sharp in the back. That's a dead rod. She's an open hall and these both you can, a lot of people use them for pleasure. I put a console on them, mm -hmm. but the oyster business here is really booming. So they they put a, a a little post in it, and they use it for dredging oysters. And that's what this will be used for. She'll be used for dredging oysters. And the only thing, and the next one I build like that is going to have a cabin and a windshield on. Oh, but they're going to yeah. use that for. Pleasure. Many boat builders place a heavy emphasis on the need to build boats in their own creative way. Whether the boat is being made for a fisherman or a crabber, the boat builder creates a vessel specially suited for its function. Throughout his career, boat builder Willard Norris has never forgotten one boat builder's advice about the importance of creative license in crafting unique functional boats. And my uncle, he owned Dickens Marine Railway. And when I was in high school in the summer, I used to work at the boat yard. I would be around boats. And my wife's aunt's husband, Mr. John Wright, he was a big boat builder. And he used, I used to go down, I guess, word of death, I'd be around him. And I'll tell you a little story. The first boat I built, was a 38 foot rhinestone. And I kept asking him to come out, so he come on out and he said, now I'm gonna tell you something. What you're doing is all right, but you go ahead and do it with your own ideas, because if you let everybody tell you 
you don't have a damn mess. And I never forgot it from this day on what he told me. He was right. Though he was not born and raised in Matthews County, Jim Brown has a passion for boat building matching any traditional boat builder of Matthews County. His innovative approach to boat building led to a lifelong quest for pioneering new, sustainable materials for making boats. While he is extremely supportive of the passion traditional boat builders have, he argues that limitations exist in creating functional boats from traditional boat building methods. We were yachting's underdogs. And uh, uh, definitely considered to be the, the lunatic fringe. And, uh, and it, it was a lot of fun because we had support. These, these guys that are, uh, let's face it, strung out on traditional boat building materials and techniques are living in a wonderful space. They have a great place to invest their consciousness. I, uh, uh, I wouldn't deprive it of them for a minute. There is only, only one thing I think they're missing out on. And uh, it's very difficult to talk about this with them. The, the skills, preservation of skills that they are, that they are uh, utilizing and perpetuating and, uh, and the materials, some of which they cannot perpetuate. That is, they're really, it's very difficult to get really good wood anymore for the classic methods of boat building. It takes a very noble species of wood. But uh, they, can, they can still get it. Sometimes it's just very costly. Um, a lot of it is, not, not all of it, but anyway, um, uh, the one thing that, uh, that, the, that the traditional boat builder, the traditional boat person does not realize is the extent to which nostalgia is governing his activities. He needs to know that those materials and those skills were the ultimate cutting edge of technology at the time they were developed. They were the guys that figured out how to build a boat with Carvel planking. They were out there in their age. And for that reason, I feel that they should not have disdain for those who are trying to be out there today and trying to advance the technology today. That's the only area of, of argument that I have with, with tradition. Whether they be a proponent of traditional boat building like Edward Diggs and Willard Norris, or a proponent of innovative boat construction like Jim Brown, Boat builders in Matthews and Middlesex counties all contribute to a rich and enduring legacy of boat building. Whether the builder is a traditionalist or a cutting edge boat designer, all boats are built with modern needs in mind. Tradition does not exist in the wooden construction of dead rise boats. It is knowledge passed down from fathers, grandfathers, and uncles, and is contained in the hands of Middle Peninsula residents who build ever-changing boats for ever-changing purposes. Mm -hmm.